For 4,000 years, agriculture has been a way of life for the Chinese people, as shown in art through the landscape paintings that capture how man and nature have lived or tried to live in harmony. As far back as the Ming Dynasty, a golden era for literature, music and poetry, European Jesuit priests invited to China were taken aback by the sophistication of the farming techniques and equipment they saw. Even as recently as the 1940s, 90% of Chinese people made their living off the land, be they landlords, tenants or labourers. Thus, throughout history, nature has sat at the heart of Chinese culture. But as nostalgic as the old days can sound, a very new way of farming has taken hold, bringing an ancient lifestyle to the frontiers of innovation and offering a solution to poverty, hunger and even gender inequality. Please give a warm welcome for James Chow. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, with a glimpse into tomorrow's world and stories about the human experience everywhere. Today, agriculture in China is a very modern endeavor. Instead of spades and plows, an entire industry is thriving off cloud computing and a shift towards what's being called unmanned farming. Now, we've all heard of unmanned space missions like the Tianzhou 4, a Chinese spacecraft with no one on board that docked with an orbiting space station module a couple of weeks ago. While unmanned farming is similar in concept. In 2022, the start of the spring season looked a little different when driverless transplanter machines were put to work on rice paddies across the country. On average, every 8 to 10 minutes, these appliances are capable of sowing seeds at a rate of 1 mu, a unit of area used in Asia. Putting that into different language, that's a coverage of 5,000 square meters every hour. Depending on the rice variety and thus the time required to sow, the automated tractors can also adjust the spacing between each planting. What makes this possible is the technology. The machines are linked to a navigation satellite system called Beidou, a Chinese innovated alternative to GPS in the United States and Galileo in Europe. Beidou guides each driverless vehicle as they work through the fields at high speeds and with high precision accuracy, meaning less physical labor while returning high yields during harvesting. In addition, the machinery are equipped with intelligent fertilizing and irrigation systems. The cloud platform controls production through a wireless network that measures moisture, composition and precipitation in the soil. In mid-season, when weed pests make an appearance, agricultural drones fly to the rescue. Farmers simply activate their drones to take off and begin spraying pesticides over a targeted area of land. At the end of the season, and by now rich in more produce than the year before, the driverless machines complete a process of root tracking, planting, automotive turnaround, harvesting and delivery. While automated machinery is replacing the need for human workers, the draw of the technology is bringing in more young entrepreneurs while allowing older farmers to upgrade their skills and raise their levels of earnings. In a sense, the young and older are working together for their combined benefit. And this is really interesting. Unmanned farming is breaking the traditional division of labor between women and men in agriculture, thus supporting rural women in achieving gender equality and dismantling gender stereotypes more broadly in society. These are the people at the forefront of innovation at a time when food insecurity is rolling back global progress on poverty, hunger and education. These farmers provide some guarantee that the world can find solutions to historic challenges, but in their own way, they symbolize a promise that innovation, when applied to meaningful purposes, can create a lasting social good for everyone. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, bringing you on a journey of emotions.